uh, uh, again, so we are, hello everyone, um, uh, of the new people in the, in the room. Uh, we are Think Twice and uh, we are developing a system of applications to reduce intoxication and, uh, and, um, and uh, well, generating better quality knowledge and not a crash tool. Um, next. Yeah, so the, the, the problem, the main problem that we're trying to uh, deal with um, to reduce is intoxication. We think actually that intoxication is the main problem of humanity. Uh, for, I mean, we are, we are, I mean, it's not about saturation of information, which is about quantity, but, but about quality. So it's the, the, all these wrong representations that we just get and that we can digest. And so we have this, all these representations that lead us to taking wrong decisions and um, ultimately uh, uh, wrong uh, social development or personal development. So uh, if we don't, um, if, if they don't block us to solve the problems, they, they are actually generate. But there's something that we actually have had since some time, um, since, since years ago, that uh, we, we used to reduce intoxication, uh, which is the, the highlighter. We, we, we normally stop uh, using it uh, because it's not worth it. We actually use a lot of, of, um, of multiple and uh, and confuse it and implicit and assume it criteria. But uh, the digital highlighter only allows us to, one, to use one and meaningful criteria at a time. So then uh, we end up uh, continuing. Uh, we end up uh, not uh, using them, not reusing this. Um, uh, so what we have done is to uh, first uh, uh, thing that we have started doing is like trying to understand what is this thing of uh, calling information that is so important in our lives, but we haven't been taught uh, uh, what it is. And the thing is that it's more complex than it looks, but we have managed to to reduce and to extract like the four basic criteria that uh, actually make something informative. Uh, and we are going to talk, uh, well, they are pretty self-explanatory. You can see them there. But we are going to explain some, uh, a few properties that will uh, have to give you like more perspective of, or their, of their importance. So next. No, so one is that we are actually using it, using it constantly, even when you tag something as, um, as an example, for example. About, uh, so. Uh, you you do it uh, implicitly. You implicitly are assuming that this is uh, well relevant for your targets. It's here, etc. The next uh, property is that uh, you can use this um, next slide, and you can use this criteria in any kind of non-fiction text. But the most important ones is that uh, these criteria are necessary, all the four, for something to be meaningful, and at the same time they are sufficient with all the four you have you can say that what you're reading is actually information so uh, next slide uh, the, um, the advantage of this is that uh, you can use it as a filter for for separating information from what is not information and with this uh, i'm passing you to sergio who is going to explain you about uh, our first tool called high point uh, thank you um, constant. Um, I'm going to take presenter and then I'm going to share my screen. Here we go. Okay. Um, so I point uh, a smart highlighter for the web. Um, so you may be wondering, like, okay, these uh, four categories that uh, define in the quality of the information, how do we actually like end up applying in the real world? Well, we have done a browser extension that uh, lets you highlight or what we normally understand for selecting text. And then when you select text, uh, this uh, menu will pop up and showing these uh, four circles, each one represents one of these four categories. And then by clicking them, you can apply any combination or of these four categories to your single standard highlight, um, boosting, boosting it up uh, to a new level. Um, but uh, maybe it's better if we see the extension in action. So 
here we have a, like a Chrome uh, family uh, browser, Chromium or Chrome or Brave or any of these uh, browsers. And we have done this uh, extension. And when we are uh, navigating through a web page like this one in the Wikipedia, if we just uh, want to highlight uh, any sentence that caught our attention, then now we will do as usual, but we will be able to um, apply uh, the, 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 the given criteria. Okay, so this, as you can see, now this select this uh, uh, selection has this uh, pop up related to it, and then we have these four buttons with the categories, and then we can start um, apply. Apply them. Okay, let's see. Yes. Um, and then um, we can just, uh, let's say, put this combination of uh, uh, criteria. And then we have this, this uh, text is selected with all this, with this combination of criteria. So uh, going back to the demo, uh, to the presentation. Uh, this uh, MVP is uh, uploaded to GitHub, it's open source, and um, you can uh, give it a try if you want to install it your, your browser. Uh, more features, it's under development, so more, future, more features will, will come up. And now I will just uh, pass on uh, to yes, Constant or anybody. Thank you, Sergio. So next functionality we want to, to present, uh, it's uh, what we call automatic claim detection. So uh, indeed one thing I point allows is to retrieve argumentative point in text. So, and more precisely, it allows to, to retrieve claims. Uh, the claims are the conclusive part of, of the argumentation in text. So uh, for example, here we can see a Wikipedia article and in a click using iPoint, uh, we can retrieve uh, the claims in this text. So here we can see uh, three claims about uh, variance in video game, uh, the theme of the article. And um, then it also acts as a smart AI highlighting assistance, since you can uh, click on these claims that was detected. And uh, if you want to, you can add it into your own highlights, just as uh, Sergio showed to us uh, using your uh, own combination of criteria, uh, and, uh, and that's it too. You can so easily add it into your own claim if you're interested, into your own highlights if you're interested. And another thing um, we allow is to see uh, more uh, part of the argumentation. For example, we can see the evidences uh, that are related with the claims. So here we can see these studies that will support uh, a specific claims, a specific claim. Um, so uh, for this, we created a, a machine learning uh, library. Uh, we call this the argument mining library. It's trained with Wikipedia data, with annotated Wikipedia articles. Uh, it's on GitHub. Uh, you can take a look, and uh, it's uh, it will be uh, improved in the in the coming uh, week weeks. Uh, and so the value of doing that is that you can see objective in paper essay summaries. So you can see summaries uh, that are composed of the claims. So you can see what the author actually claims in a text. It's also an open door for argument analysis because the first thing you want to do for an argument analysis is to uh, see the argument, see the component of the argument in text. And uh, this uh, work of uh, argument analysis can help uh, and that's what we want to do in the long term, to build trust in, in what we read uh, on the web. So, Constantino, mm, is that your turn? Constantino, are you there? Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, so you have seen that there's an extension that uh, uses the, this wheel of these four keywords. But, and we have also, on the other hand, this, this image, that's a, so like a change in two. So uh, this first wheel that you have seen uh, corresponds to the, 
the criteria that uh, depends on the reader, what is new for, uh, for one person, it's not new for another person, um, and the same with the other. But there are other criteria that also help to uh, find better quality information, which are, that we depend on the text. Yet, with these four basic ones that we have seen, we can differentiate what is information, what is actually informative with, uh, from what is not. These other text um, related criteria are like more complex, um, but uh, we had to develop a tool for, uh, uh, sorry, a wheel for it too. Um, you have already seen that uh, the claims are, are uh, part of this, um, how they work. And for the, seeing the rest of the, on, on all the rest of the uh, framework, you will have to go to the web and, and see, uh, read uh, about it if you, you are really interested. Uh, but now what is important is that we have these, these two things and that the, the two corresponds, uh, the first one to what the human does and the second one, one uh, we are going to develop the same way we have done with the games. We are going to develop algorithms that helps to reduce the cognitive overload and, uh, and do it automatically. So um, uh, next, please. Uh, then, yeah, what's the benefit of using these categories? Well, um, well, there, there you can um, just see them, and uh, there's. Uh, the, I think the only thing that is uh, have to clarify here is that containers refer to uh, well, folders, for example, are containers or articles, and articles contain uh, well different uh, sentences or units of information. So, and um, these four first criteria that you um, are um, applicable even for articles. We are going to see that um, instead of um, a sentence or something that you agree or with or not. Uh, but the two of them serve as a way to separate uh, information uh, from, I mean, good quality information from bad quality information. Next one. So it um, uh, seems not working if we, uh, very well. This, but uh, you could see at least that uh, uh, if you go, um, just uh, you can select, uh, you go to an article, you can select first the claims as, as they mm -hmm. said, show. And now you can click uh, on, on the first and then uh, like um, clear and trust, and they will be automatically applied. You now click on apply, and then it's applied here to. Um, you can see my cursor, right? Uh, well, I'm assuming that. No? Uh, so then, the uh, thing is uh, well, you can apply this to the whole article, and so your assumptions are there, mm -hmm. and uh, that, that will really help you to. Uh, uh, to reduce the number of clicks, uh, you can even uh, just continue. You can uh, now select here, for example, yeah, and the rest of them. And you are going to most of the time you are going to use the four criteria, which are what makes something really meaningful. Uh, uh, so, uh, but you can also then click on the other uh, two uh, in the upper part next to that. You can see the icon changes, and then the next one that you highlight. It's uh, highlighted with the four criteria. See that we are highlighting. We are uh, we select automatically the, this. We don't have to go with the cursor from the beginning to the end. It is it is um, selected automatically. This is some uh, this is another feature that we have, and that makes highlighting more more efficient. Uh, so just to sum it up, uh, adding to the filter benefits of the framework, we have uh, this multiple species marking. So you can mark once the clear layer. Uh, you can have objective uh, summaries automatically, and you can uh, you can highlight the uh, much faster. Um, so uh, yeah, thank you everyone for uh, listening to us. Uh, we are hope you can. Uh, we are actually. Um, uh, I mean, if you are identified with these calls of reducing intoxication. You are more than welcome uh, to to join us. We are looking at the kind of people you can contact us. Thanks a lot.